The Industrial Revolution brought about huge changes in the way people lived and worked. While the majority of us are used to working set hours, typically a 9 to 5 day, this was a novel idea at the turn of the 19th century. We can see this change represented in the clocking in machine, made by an English company called Gledhill Brook Time Recorders. It records the start and end times for employees who were working at Kershaw's Cotton Mill in Bolton between 1827 and 1937. At the start of each of their shifts, workers would enter a time card into the slot on the time clock. When the time card hits a contact at the rear of the slot, the machine prints the day and time information on the card. Then at the end of their shift, the workers would repeat the process, giving the factory an accurate record of exactly how many hours each worker was clocking up. With the Industrial Revolution and the mass movement of people in to urban centres such as Bolton and here in Manchester, measuring the working day and productivity was of paramount importance to employers. The introduction of machines such as these really marks the beginning of industrialisation of work practices. Not only was their working hours strictly regulated, but so too were their tasks. Previously, agricultural labourers, craftsmen and those doing piecework as part of the cottage industry had a certain amount of flexibility and agency in their working lives. The hours they worked could vary day to day and depending on need, time and available resources. For those working the land, their working hours were set by the sun, but the Industrial Revolution changed this for those entering the mills and the factories. We know that workers tried to beat the system using practices such as clocking in for your friends. Workers would clock their friends and colleagues in or out in order to beat the machine. And some contemporaries even worried that these new practices were contributing to the dehumanisation of labour turning workers into just another cog in the machine. 